Okay. This is what I'm trying to do. I am trying to understand, and this topic is about, try to help me understand. Understand the situations of two different things. Two. Not one, but two. Okay? Two. All right. Number one is when family wants people to live with them, to to be around them because they love their company or they love when they're there with them because they're the ones that can uh, be around them and, and, and make them happy or whatever they do with them for them anyway. But then they want to go up there and torment them and make them feel like, Oh, well then, you know, okay, I'm better than you. Uh, you're shit. You're in nothing. You just and you, they bully you, and then they treat you like as if, like as if they got the answer for everything, and you're just shit. Number two is a topic of, of men. I'm not talking about downing men. No, I'm talking about when they say one minute, okay, about their money. That's the topic about their money, because they act like one minute they want to give it to you. But then the only way they'll fucking want to give it to you is if you lay out that pussy. Anyway, I don't know if I'm supposed to say all this on YouTube. But, you know, when are we going to ever speak what we really feel? How are we going to ever let the world know what the real subject is and going on in this world? How anybody's going to know the fact that everything that's going on that makes this world less living like if you got a family member that wants you to live with them let's say that much they want you to live with them but they go around bullying you they go around telling you what to do fuck with your facebook hurt you and and everything and and, and try to cause violence and problem or strike at you or whatever I mean, I'm, talk I'm talking about anything. But then they wonder why you fucking leave. They wonder why you're gone. They wonder why they see an empty chair. They wonder why there's nobody there. Because you push that person away. Because you, I mean, what do you expect people to do? Okay, bully me, hurt me. Do what you want to me. Do this to me. I enjoy it. <laughs> You think people want to live with that? You think people want to get bullied? I mean, what the fuck you think you are? You're not Queen Elizabeth. You ain't no president. What the hell you think you are? You think your shit don't stink? Because you think people expect to take your shit? Well, you know what? Your shit probably stink worse than mine. And I ain't taking your shit. I'm sorry. Huh? You may be important, but you're not that important. I'm sorry. I'm more important than that. Because I'm not going to let myself be dumped that way. No. And nobody doesn't have to like me on this YouTube. I'm not asking nobody to. I just want to say what I feel. I want to say what I see around in this world. How people are. How they treat others. I mean, damn, was it about the money or is it about them? When it ever comes to where people were supposed to help each other, regardless if it's a lending hand or not, where does that come from? When does that ever start? I mean, damn, at least back then in the days, people had places to go to. Now everybody's homeless. Kids are starving. Animals are being uh, neutralized because they got no place to go. A lot of lives are being taken away because of society, of how people think they should be. Instead of thinking about what they should not be and what they should be. And that's to be the righteous for human life. Not to hurt human life. And especially when Christians say, or Catholic or Christian Pentecostal, 
They all say, oh, God wants us to do this and that. But then why are you turning the other way? Why are you being hypocrites? Why aren't you doing what God says? Why are you worrying more about your money than worrying about pleasing God? Where does that come from? Where does that start? Without you thinking about the mighty old fucking dollar. Is that going to save you from from hell? Is that going to save you from, from purgatory? If that's where you, if you want to go to heaven? How are you going to make it to heaven if you don't think about the right way? What God gave you as the money, he's probably showing you you can do for others too. He's probably giving it to you so you can see if you can help others. But you're just worrying about keeping it in your pocket. It's not going to go with you when you go to heaven or hell or purgatory. It doesn't matter. It's not going with you. Whenever since a damn soul or a spirit went to a grocery store and bought food or paid a bill, I'd like to know. Maybe I should ask my dad to go pay a bill or buy some food since he's not here. And now that, men, I'm sorry, I love y'all, but when y'all tell these women that are so sexy, are not sexy, but then y'all say, oh, hey baby, I got $20, or I got $50, $100, I'll give it to you, I'll help you out. Oh yeah, babe, don't worry about it. Money's no option. Money doesn't mean shit to me. But then, as soon as y'all don't get that pussy, y'all using me. You're taking all my money. Uh, you're taking this. You're taking that. You're just using me. I'm broke all the time because you're always asking for my money. Well, then why'd you offer to give it to me? Why'd you offer to help me? Uh, just so you can have a twat or a pussy rubbing on your dingling and rubbing it, give it to, is that what it is? Is that why you paid a hundred dollars? Then go buy your prostitute. Go find your a hooker. Go out in the streets and go find your corner woman. If that's what you want. I mean, it, it, I'm sure it's not hard. And if there's not one in your town, then go to another town. Go to a city to go to. I mean, but if you're not going to want to help somebody just because they don't give you some ass, or you want to help them because you want some ass, then why help them? Why fucking help them? That's wasting their time. That's wasting on them. When they could have just told you, hell fucking no. If you want to help somebody, it's because you're doing it for them. You're helping them. You're doing the right thing. And if money's no, no option, and if it doesn't mean a fucking thing, then why are you bitching? That's what I'm trying to understand. Why are you over there giving the woman a hard time? And I know there's some greedy women. And they they go with their self. But damn, if you offer something, make it meaningful. Not greedful. And I mean greedful. Not greedy. Don't be stingy. Please, people. Men, whatever you are. I mean, and y'all wonder why y'all at home looking at porno magazine and touching on the one eye snake. And then y'all wonder why y'all miserable. Well then, if y'all would think about what you're doing before you do it, and try to just at least get closer to them, and if you're gonna help them, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't say money's no option, or it doesn't matter to me. Show it doesn't matter. Because if it matters, don't do the shit. And then you don't have to worry about losing the shit. 
So think about it, people. That's the right thing to do and not to do the wrong thing. I don't mean to bitch about everybody, but it just gets so irritating hearing people go through that, facing that, and all they had to do was help each other. And if people want to be greedy and don't want to think of you, honey, they got to face their demons. They got to face their wrongness. And when they do, they got nobody to blame but their self because they were so ungrateful. So don't be the bad one. Two wrongs don't make a right. Try to do right. But for yourself. For yourself. Because even though maybe people will say, oh, you're weak, you're lame. No. You're not weak, you're not lame. You got heart. You got good heart. You got real heart. Because you're not... What makes you weak and, and, and cowardly is when you go to the violent way and hurt people. And when you're doing it the wrong way, that what makes you a coward. Because you're being a greedy, sorry coward. You're not trying to do what's right and what can help others or help the one you love or you want to be with. Because you never know, you could be the worst one in that end of that stick. But when you end up doing it right because you want to, well then, do it. But if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, don't do it. And if you don't like what you're going through, then step out. There's other women out there. There's other sexy girls. If that's your only hope, then do something. Work on yourself. Work on you. And then maybe things will go smoothly. I don't know. I'm not the Lord to know everything. I'm not my Lord's. I'm not none of them. I wish I knew. Because some people just are not grateful. But if they're not and you don't like it, then walk away. Like, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. It's easy as that. Don't never turn back. Well, men are good too. There are good men. There are some men that don't do that. There's a lot of men that don't do that. And women take advantage of them. And they hurt them. And those are the women. <laughs> you don't want to know what I think you should do to them. And I'm not going to say it. But anyway, I'm not wasting my time on that. But I do respect men and I do love them. I just wish they would see what's in front of them before they lose what's in front of them. And I wish people would realize when they have someone in their life and they want them there and they wanna and they wanna have them in their life in their home. Well, Treat them with respect just as well. You want to be treated with respect. Because if you can't, then don't even bother with nobody and just live by yourself. Because if you want people to be around you and you don't want to be alone, then work on it. Because believe you me, you could end up somewhere else alone and everything flashing in front of your eyes that is be slapping in your face. So think about it. Love y'all. Take care. Bless y'all. Thank you very much.